This is a comparison of portopulmonary hypertension and hepatopulmonary syndrome. These are both complications of liver disease, but with distinct characteristics, mainly whether the pulmonary vasculature is dilated or constricted. In hepatopulmonary syndrome, you have dilated pulmonary vasculature and angiogenesis. This leads to a shunt and an increased AA gradient. You get hypoxemia, specifically orthodeoxia, which is worse when sitting up and standing, better when lying down. You get dyspnea, specifically platypnea, which is worse when sitting up standing, better when lying down. Your bubble study will show bubbles that go from the right to left heart in three to six beats. You diagnose this with chronic liver function tests, elevated AA gradient, hypoxia, and your bubble study echo. The treatment is liver transplant, which resolves the hypoxemia within one year. In portopulmonary hypertension, on the other hand, you get vasoconstriction of the pulmonary vasculature with vascular obstruction due to proliferation of smooth muscle, endothelium, and platelet aggregation. You'll have an elevated mean pulmonary arterial pressure. You'll have a mean pulmonary arterial occlusion pressure of less than 15. You'll have an elevated pulmonary vascular resistance and portal hypertension. This leads to dyspnea, weakness, and low exercise tolerance. Diagnosed with a TTE and right heart cath, and the treatment here is diuresis and vasodilators.